I have a very simple little nutrition tip that <laughs> it sounds overly simple, but it actually was so huge for me changing from never being able to lose weight and eating crappy all the time and all this stuff to like now I just, it feels all like ease, you know? And it was this little change in mentality that I, th I, want, I thought I should share with you guys. When you are really hungry, your body is going to start craving fat and carbs like crazy. Your body doesn't want to tap into your body fat. It wants to save that. So when your blood sugar starts to get low, your food, you know, your body sensing, uh-oh, we might have to tap into fat stores here. We don't want to do that. Just tell them to eat more food. Like, like the hungrier you get, the more your body is going to want fat and carbs because it's just trying to pack in the calories, right? And those are the two energy sources, right? Protein isn't a direct energy source. So the simplest thing in the world that I did was like, I just made this little mental habit of you can eat whatever you want. Just eat your real food first, right? So if I was like, maybe went grocery shopping or something and I'd be super hungry and I'm like, oh, I just want to dig into that bag of chips or I just want to dig into that tree. You know, it's just anything that's fat and carbs. My body was like, just have some of that. And I just learned it was like you can have all the chips or treats or whatever you want but you gotta eat, eat real food first right and then you can learn how to make fat and carbs really delicious like I just had some delicious um kabocha squash from the grocery store here they cook it and uh I got some salmon with it and so I've learned like okay the the kabocha squash is it's fried it's probably not the healthiest thing in the world but I don't give a shit it is delicious <laughs> um it's squash come on but um, I'll eat, that's fat and carbs essentially. And then I make sure I add protein to that. And so if you can like get in this pattern of like when you get really hungry and you feel those whistles blowing of like, some of you guys are past this, but some of you aren't. So I just thought I'd share because I wasn't for a long time. The hungrier I got, the more I wanted like french fries and just all the junky stuff, you know? And I was just like, you can have that after you eat your real food. <laughs> you can have all you want. Yeah, you know, whatever cake or candy. Yep. Just, but first we're going to eat a healthy, balanced protein, fat, and carbs of real food. And you just learn over time that you were just hungry. You were just hungry. Like all, all the madness of like, I can't give up unhealthy food and all this stuff. Like you can, you, or at least like tremendously reduce it. If you will just say you can have that after you eat your real food, just like you would do with your kids, just like you would do with your kids. This is what I tell my clients. Oh, David, what's up? 11 weeks till Sedona. Holy shit. Guys, get in on my Sedona retreat if you haven't yet. We still got some rooms left. Come to Sedona. It is going to be so powerful. I feel like it's like my little secret with my retreat people is like, these things are fucking insane. Okay, sorry. <laughs> um, it's good. It's very good. But yeah, just wanted to drop that into your thoughts because like, I, I mean, I used to be addicted to McDonald's and Wendy's, you guys, you know that, you know, I really was for a long portion of my adult life, just so much junk. And, um, yeah, I just learned to like, just, you can have that after you eat healthy stuff. And I was just like, oh my gosh, I was just hungry. And I just like allowed myself to sink into those patterns, but you can recreate the new pattern by just that little thought after you eat your real food, after you eat some healthy food, you can have all you want. All right. I see my daughter leaving somewhere, so I got to go. Okay. Bye guys. <laughs>